in times past, the church has been able to, I'm talking pre-COVID stuff, we used to be able to host a lot more things than what we're able to host anymore. The number of people that are involved with the stuff that we used to do is not as many. We can't offer as many things as we used to offer. We're just living in a weird stage and, and Lord, we're praying for things to change, right? Everybody's praying for things to change. As much as the church may not be able to offer everything that we used to offer, we're going to be offering a lot more tools and resources than we've ever offered. But some of these resources you're going to have to take advantage of. But beyond that, I want to just encourage you that if even if we may not be able to host every Bible study, everything we've ever done in the past, doesn't mean it doesn't need to be happening in your life. For a long time, we've depended on the church to host something you know, corporately that truly you and I need to be doing personally anyway. And so I want to encourage you to start studying and reading your Bible, period. The Bible is, is to your soul what food is to your body. You know what I'm saying? Um, you need to be fat spiritually, all right? We need to be gobbling down the Word of God. First of all, I'm going to encourage you to get a translation of the Bible that you can read. You never catch Jesus having to go, hey, let me tell you disciples what I just said. You know, No, he just tells them in their own language. God's given us the ability to have the Word of God in our own language, one that we can understand. You could read all four Gospels this afternoon after you go home in one setting. That's, that's, they're not that big. It, but, but reading the Gospels and reading them and studying them and reading them and studying them is powerful. I think you should read other books too. I think there's other things you could read as well. But nothing is going to compare and nothing can be substituted for your own personal studying the Bible. You don't need to wait for somebody else to host a Bible study. You don't need to for, wait for somebody else to teach you something. You, you need to take advantage of the Word of God and the Spirit of God who lives in you. If you're a believer, the greatest Bible teacher that has ever existed lives in you. He is the Holy Spirit. The Bible says he'll bring you into remembrance of all truth. You need to be studying the Bible on your own.